Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this quick how to about displaying buttons and associate them with each row from the database table. Okay, uh, f first uh, you will need to define a data source. Okay, so here I'm gonna connect to my database. Okay, next. Uh, no, next. Now I am gonna I select the table. Okay, so we have this table. Okay, and I'm gonna drag my table into onto the form. Okay, I'm gonna dock it. Now, uh, obviously, if we run this one, uh, we will not get any button. What we want here is adding a column that contains buttons. Okay, uh, so click here. Uh, make sure that you are selecting the data grid view. Click here once, select uh, edit columns. Now we are going to add a new column. Uh, here you are going to specify the header uh, header text, for example, this is comments. Okay, now here you specify the type of this column. Uh, you want to select a button column. So click add and close. Now this one is going to be the second one, we want it to be the last column. So this is the last one. Okay, uh, here we have a proper data property name, which means what is going to be displayed in the text of this column. Press OK. Okay, let's run this. And uh, this is it. Okay, so we can now press these. Of course, nothing happens because we didn't add any code. Okay, uh, now just double click this you will get into cell content to click. This one's triggered uh, uh, if any of the columns or any of the cells is being uh, clicked on, okay? You want to make sure that only this, uh, you will do the processing only when this column is clicked. Uh, so to do that, uh, you must know which, what is the number of this column. This is column number zero, one, two, and this is three. So double click this one. So if, uh, sorry, if e dot column index doesn't equal three, then exit sub. This means if the column is not the required column, don't do any processing. And e, by the way, is argument passed uh, uh, passed to this function to tell uh, to this uh, sorry uh, subroutine to tell us uh, information about the cell being clicked. Okay. Next, we are gonna get the value. So v as string equal dba uh, sorry uh, a, a, a data grid view uh, dot rows of the rows being clicked is e dot uh, row index dot cells let's say we are gonna process the cell zero dot value okay uh, and finally we will do some processing uh, the processing will be just displaying it in a message box message box v okay that's it let's run the code so to put this in the center so this is smith this is john this is todd right now what you want to do the problem here you have these names you don't want to display these names you want to display your own text the problem with this, each column must get its information from the data set, okay? And to change what's being displayed here, we are gonna do some some kind of a trick, okay? So here, if you double click on the test data set here, okay, you will get the definition of your data set, okay? Uh, what, are, what are we gonna do is right click here, select add and select a column, okay? And this one, it will be, uh, Mm, command okay I'm calling this column command now if you go to its a proper uh, properties you will find something called default value this one will be for example edit I want the word edit to appear there okay now uh, I'm gonna run uh, oh sorry I forgot to change things okay now I just select the data grid view, uh, select edit columns, select the, the the button, and now I change data property name. If I open this one, I can see the command column here. So that's it. Now run the code, and there you go. 
this is it now we have buttons each one allow me for example to edit the information or do whatever kind of processing I want okay it's very simple very straightforward uh, even if you add new rows you can still uh, okay uh, but of course uh, this error is ha happening because I didn't insert the row you will have to do some kind of processing that the row exists and stuff like that so uh, this uh, is all about uh, adding buttons into data grid view dynamically hope you'll find this useful if you have uh, further questions or suggestions uh, send them to me check out the website also www.mka-soft.com there you will find other tutorials and how to have a nice day everyone bye bye